Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we make content about feminine energy and all those stuffs. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about about the certain things uh, about the feminine energy not many people are talking about. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. You can visit my website, thesimplewaste.com. The link is in description box below. You could very well grab the female self care planner. All the links are in description box below. Anyway, guys, let's talk about what are the things that are feminine energy has but not many people are talking about the first thing is that no one on this planet earth has just only one form of energy whether it's a man masculine energy female feminine energy no everyone has both of these energies you has the feminine energy as well you has the masculine energy as well both the male and female or any other specific gender have both the kind of these energies because nothing could happen if only one energy would be there because one energy isn't complete by in itself. It's kind of like we are all connected to each other. Everything is connected. So you can't be a female without the masculine energy and you can't be a male without the feminine energy. You have both the energies inside of you. The point is that which kind of energy you use in getting your desires, in getting your dreams or your partner or whatever you want in your life. That's the point, what you are using, what you're choosing. But you have both of these energy. And usually when people talk about the feminine energy, they miss out the masculine energy in the females. And females have masculine energy as well. When you are working on your ambition, your dreams, your goals, when you're after something, you have targets, that's kind of like a masculine energy. That's not a feminine energy. You can't be a complete human by being in just form of energy because you have been created by both of these energies. So you can't be the one of them. So that's the one thing not many people talking about it. So when you come across the word feminine energy, keep in mind you have the masculine energy as well within you. It's just that you decide which one to use at what time. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about that you can't achieve your dream just by feminine energy. Or you can't just rely on one single energy for getting everything that you want in your life. You are the combination of both of these energy and there is a reason behind it why you get both of these energies. Otherwise, you could just be having one form of energy and you would be okay with that and you would be living your life. But no, you got both of these energy and there is a reason behind it. Nothing happened without a reason. There is no coincidence. In fact, the coincidences are the nature's way of giving you the some signs or symbols. So, if you want to achieve anything in your life, whether you're looking for a partner, love, building a career, health, whatever it is, you have to use both of these energies. You can't just rely on a feminine energy to get everything that you want in your life because <clears throat> feminine energy in itself is incomplete. That's why you have both of these energies within you. The third thing that not many people are talking about is that chasing is not that bad usually people talk about that you shouldn't be chasing you should be relaxing sitting back and calm and all that stuff but i want to tell you chasing is not bad in fact you should be chasing but when to chase and when not to chase when you feel like you're getting tired when you feel like you're out of the zone when you feel like it's a lot of the effort you're putting a lot of the work or you're struggling to get something then that's not the chasing that's kind of not the chasing you're looking after. But when you are chasing after something and you feel energetic, you feel excited, you feel like, wow, this is amazing. I'm going to see what's next, what's next, what's next. When you see your energy, your vibration is increasing when you're chasing something or someone, that's kind of chasing is for you. So chasing is not always that bad as it may seem because people talk a lot about you don't need to chase. You just need to sit back and relax and let things come to you. I mean, things will going to come to you, but at the point you need to take an action. In the law of attraction, in the manifestation world also, there is a one specific part of the right specified action is required to achieve your goal. You can't just rely on sitting back and relax and let the things unfold for you, okay? You have to do the work as well at times, but if the 
chasing or if the work seems like so much of the hard work struggle it's putting you out of the zone you're feeling tired you're feeling very bad then that's not the thing for you that's not the chasing you need to look into but if the chasing feels right to you it feels amazing excitement it feels like what's next what's next what's next and it just opens you up and increasing your vibration and frequency you feel good you feel amazing then that the kind of chasing you need to look into and then that chasing is right for you because sitting back and relaxing is not always the part of the game. I mean, you have the combination of masculine and feminine energy. That means you have to take an action when it's required. That's being part of the masculine energy. And you have to sit back and relax when there is no need to take an action. That's part of the feminine energy. So that's why the chasing is great. The chasing is necessary when it's part of the masculine energy, when it's needed uh, when it's actually putting you in the zone, it's increasing your vibration frequency, you feel amazing, excited. That means that kind of chasing is for you. But when the chasing is actually taking a toll on you, you're feeling tired, exhausted, it's decreasing your vibration, that that's not the chasing you're looking for. That that means the signs you need to be in the feminine energy, you need to relax. So that's why it's the most important thing. The last thing that people are not talking about is life is a messy. And it's okay to be messy. People usually talk about very crystal clear. Hey, I manifested my dream life. I manifested money. I manifested partner. Of course, they manifested everything. Of course, they get everything what they want. And you can also get it. And I'm also getting it. But in the process of getting those things, in the process of achieving those things, you would feel or you would come across your life when it's way more messy than you could actually thought. Like it's you're going to feel like you are actually attracting multiple different partners. You're going on multiple different dates and many people are interested in you. But you want to be with one person, with one guy. And now you're confused. It's totally messy. You are, your feelings are all over the place. You don't know which one to choose, which one is the best for you. It's okay to be messy because it's part of the game. Okay, it's part of the game. You will never going to reach to clarity until you are in the state of confusion. We only have the answers when we have the questions. If you don't have the questions, if you don't have the doubts, if you don't have that stuff, you won't be having the clarity. So if you don't have the doubt, there won't be a clarity. If you don't have a confusion, there won't be a clarity. If you don't have a question, there won't be an answer. So that means if your life is messy while well, in the process of achieving or manifesting your dream life, your partner or relationship, whatever it is, then understand it's normal. It's okay. It's okay. Tell yourself it's okay. You don't need to beat yourself up if it's getting to way more messy than you thought it would be. There is a lot of the confusion, doubt, and you are like, I'm confused. I don't know where to go, what to choose, how to proceed. It's okay. Tell yourself. You're going to find your way because always you find your ways and you will always going to find your way. Whether it's with a partner, with a job, with the health, whatever it is, you're always going to find your way because you always did that in the past. So tell yourself, remind yourself and it's okay to be messy because it's the part of the game. Everyone's life has been messy and it will going to be messy at some point in their life because it's all part of the game. It's There is a lot of the curves along the road. It's not a straight road. There's a lot of the twists and turns, U-turn, curves, and all that stuff. It's part of the game. So messiness and all that stuff is a part of the game. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you find it useful because these are the things not many people are talking about. And they are really important to cover because we need to talk about the real factors, the real truth about the life, about the feminine energy, about the masculine energy, about the manifestation world, because it's not always the rosy world. There have been a lot of the confusion and hopefully I was able to clear some of them in this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want more such videos? Any questions, comments are really welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.